Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here live at the 2010 World Tai Chi and Qigong Day. In Milwaukee, Wisconsin at Cardinal Stretch College. It's your boy, Dragon Boo. Nay Lee. Welcome back to another segment. This is Nay Lee, and I am here live at the 2010 World Tai Chi and Qigong Day. Here I have Miss Angela and Mr. Eric. They did wonderful exhibits, and I would like to ask them more questions. So, bear with me. Ladies first, as always. Again, your name is? Angela Lafferty Hart. Thank you, ma'am. What style of Tai Chi do you teach and have been studying? I was living in Boston in 1981. Uh, I had previously taught aerobics for five years, and I took my knee, and somebody said, try Tai Chi. And I went to three different um, Tai Chi schools, and the third one was Dr. Yang Dojo in Jamaica Plain, uh, South Boston. That was 1991, and then I moved back to Milwaukee a couple of, about a year later. But I had enough; I had the form, and I took it back to Milwaukee. And then in 1995, Dr. Eric started offering winter and summer seminars, so I started traveling back and forth to get my corrections, my form corrections. Um, it was difficult to learn from a system. I had to take the test to teach three times. For a good pass, but I did. But you I did. did persevere. Yes. So it's Yang style Tai Chi, and um, it's from the Yang Han Ho. Hmm. Okay. Same question for you. You are Eric Wentor, and I. I I dabbled with in Tai Chi. I learned a really short uh, Sun style form uh, probably 10, 12 years ago. It was like six movements, and I used to practice it, and my friends would laugh at me, and my wife would say, what are you doing? And then uh, through a work, uh, two years ago, I had the opportunity to travel to China, and I spent eight months traveling back and forth uh, between the uh, U.S. and the Yungan, China. And, and before I went, I emailed um, a master, Li Yong, who I found on the Internet, and, um, and he lived in um, Lian Yungan, and I said, I was coming and I wanted to find out about um, getting some instruction in Tai Chi. And so he met me after the second day I was there, he met me at my hotel. And between him and his brother, um, I, got, uh, I got the intensive short course. I had two or three lessons a week. I would be there for three weeks, at, three or four weeks at a time, and I would get two or three lessons a week. And um, I learned just enough to keep me going. And, and it, like as Angela mentioned, I, I need to need to schedule a trip back to China so that I can get my form corrected and, and expanded. I, I basically learned half of the Chen style old form, okay. mm -hmm. and uh, that's 39 movements, and uh, that keeps me busy, but I, I, I need to learn the other about 40 or so movements that go on that style. How long have you been a practitioner? Well, really, you know, more seriously, about two years, two and a half years. Where do you see the martial arts from? The martial arts are still evolving, although I think they're at a static point right now where a lot of people are trying to imitate kind of Hollywood type ideas about martial arts. Um, and then there's also, well, especially in Tai Chi, a lot of Tai Chi instructors are teaching for health. So the martial applications and the spiritual applications are not being um, brought into the but there's this core movement for health thing that's very popular. <laughs> and then there's some teachers that teach both the yin and yang of um, the spiritual meditation and social. Yeah. So for me, I want to um, stay in the center and keep practicing for health and longevity, but I also want to keep learning the martial application, pushing hands, chin on, yes. and then also the um, Meditation part of it for my life. Same question for you, Brother Eric. Well, I, I mean, I can't argue with what what Angela said. I think um, you know there's a there's there's an undercurrent of, of interest that uh, you know, hopefully will continue to grow. Hopefully, it's not stagnating too much. Um, I know I encourage people. I've been after my 
kids for a long time to learn some martial arts. I don't care what it is, it's something because I think it's really good to get, you know, to practice some form of physical exercise that encompasses that whole spiritual and mental part too because I know for me it's, it's amazing with work stress and you know, other issues going on. Um, Tai Chi keeps me, definitely keeps me centered. Indeed, indeed. Last but not least, my dear, what is your favorite martial arts movie? If you have one. It has to be a movie. Can it be a video? No. Well, any of Mr. Young's videos. <laughs> are inspiring to me because I understand the movement and his philosophy. Um, I do have a copy of Crouch and Tiger to be very proud because and Yo Yo Ma. Yes! So it's really, really inspiring. It really, really blends in well with the tradition of that, of that genre of film. Y'all heard it here. And, you, <laughs> and well, um, I can't remember the name of it. It's a Bruce Lee movie in Chinese um, where he beats up all the, he's the good guy, and they end up fighting up on this big platform. I, I can't remember what the uh, What, the, he, the, the gangsters are after him? Chinese Connection. The which? It's probably Chinese Connection. Keep going. Well, he has, he has some, his followers that, that are supporting him, and, and he kind of goes... Kind of off the edge. Fist of Fury. That could be. That's it. That's the one. That he, got it. he got shot. I End of the film. It, but it was Chinese and it was subtitled in it, but it was a really good, it was really a good story. Fist of Fury. Good story and good, lots of good uh, martial arts. Yeah. Well, first of all, first of all, I'll share it here. Thank you very much. I really well, appreciate thank it. You. I'll share it. Thank you, Nick. You guys have no idea. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you guys for viewing. Look forward to more videos. Y'all take care.